Hi, I'm Helen. I blog at Fustery Flavours and I like to write about affordable, achievable and attainable food. Today I'm going to make a gnocchi pasta bake. It's a one pot dish. You can prep it ahead of time. I love a pasta bake. It's a one pot. You can prep it all ahead of time, leave it in the fridge, go out for the day and then have it on a Saturday evening on the sofa whilst you're watching Strictly, X Factor or whatever your choice of bad Saturday night telly is. So I've peeled my butternut squash and I'm just chopping it into cubes, each one about the size of one of the gnocchi. What's really great about this dish is you don't need to measure anything, you don't have to weigh anything, so just use a medium-sized butternut squash. If you love squash, put more in. If you're not so keen, well, don't make this dish, I suppose. <laughs> okay, um, so my squash is prepared. That's going to be roasted in a hot oven Gas mark 6, 200 Celsius. I'm just using a bit of vegetable oil. Don't use expensive olive oil in the oven. Squash into the roasting tin. Sprinkle of salt. Sprinkle of pepper. I think just a tad more oil. Give it a good shake and into the oven for 15 minutes. Right, we're now going to cook the gnocchi. Um, well, you want a pan of boiling water. Always boil water in a kettle rather than on the hob. It's much faster in the kettle. Gnocchi's great. You buy fresh gnocchi in packets in the supermarket. It keeps for about a month. Um, you can freeze it. Or if you prefer, you can use pasta for this dish. Or if you're being adventurous, you can make your own gnocchi. It's really easy to make. That's in the water now, it will simmer and then when it's cooked it will rise to the top. So we're going to leave that for a couple of minutes. When I make a creamy sauce, I quite often cut the cream with some stock. It makes it taste better and gets rid of some of the calories. Just take half a spoon of bouillon powder, or you can use a vegetable stock cube, into a cup. Top up with boiling water. Give it a little stir. Set to one side while the gnocchi cooks. So you want to leave the oven on because your gnocchi bake is going to go straight back in there. This is done. You can see it's starting to go golden. So I've put a knife in. It's lovely and soft. Put your squash into a large bowl. There's the squash. So we've got our squash. Add our gnocchi. Add a good handful of spinach. You could use spring greens, you could use kale, you could use broccoli here. Stir it all up. Just gently. Then we need an oven proof gratin dish. Pour it all into the dish. Now we can put the stock over, or if you prefer, half a glass of white wine. I'd rather drink my wine. I've forgotten the lemon. Oh, never mind, it doesn't need lemon. Top it up with some double cream. Just so it's about halfway up the dish. Now the figs. I love figs. They go really well in sweet and in savoury dishes. There's beautiful seeds inside. You can use a nice continental cheese. I've got some lovely creamy gorgonzola here, almost running away. Eat it with a spoon or some British Stilton. I'm going to go for the Stilton. One tip for cheese. Don't throw the rind away. Put it into a Tupperware pot in the freezer, add it to stocks and soups. Absolutely delicious. A dash of herbs for extra flavour. I find fresh herbs are really expensive. I do have some in my window box, but they only grow in the summer. Sprinkling the dried thyme. A little bit of lemon zest just to cut through that cream. 
barely used any. And now into the oven for 15 minutes. So there we go, the gnocchi, the squash, the figs, the blue cheese, the spinach, perfect one pot dish. Eat in front of the telly, just eat it with a fork while you're watching Strictly, X Factor, The Voice, Downton on a Sunday night, have a glass of red or white wine, 